What we see here is the beginning of the rail system being broken up so that it can be privatised. Just as we saw with Sydney Ferries, the unprofitable assets are hived off into a separate company and the service delivery side of it, the frontline staff, yeah. ticketing, customer service, is all franchised off to the private sector. That is what will happen with trains too. By moving the unprofitable and costly asset management functions into a different an organisation, the frontline service delivery can be sold off to the private sector. If assets like track, wiring and signal equipment are hived off and the service delivery privatised, then you can be sure that safety and reliability of the train network will suffer and that the private operator will jack up prices. Already we have the Opal ticketing system run by a private company. You can't buy a if ticket at most stations. They it. jack up prices every year. And a private company skims profits off the top. Do you have an Opal card? It is no way to run a public transport system. Do you have an Opal card? So I reiterate, Mr Speaker, Labor opposes this privatisation push.